Uh, hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is ifia artistry if this is your first time seeing my videos you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always watching my videos okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to work on an oily skin everything you need to know everything you need to do to achieve a very good and flawless makeup on, a, on an oily skin okay first thing first you have to clean the face thoroughly with the wipes to remove every hidden dirt from the skin you know when you clean the face you remove every dirt that is coming from anywhere on the skin okay guys so after doing that i'm going to use the fan to dry her face up after drying it up i'm going to be using the tears toner to tone the face and remove more dirt from the skin because you know why it's important to remove dirt hidden dirt from this because dirt will ruin your makeup during the day if you don't remove them if they don't go away your makeup is going to be affected during the day so after doing that make sure you use your fan to dry it up because um if you don't dry and go to another step it's going to affect you after doing that i'm going to be using the zaron hydrating serum uh, i'm going to apply it on the face to help me with the hydration that i'm going to be getting from the moisturizers that i'll be using so after doing that, I'm going to make sure I blend it into the skin very well properly before you go into another step or another pro another thing you have to do. Make sure you blend the first one. When it's fully dried up, you can go to another one. So after that, I'm going to be using the Olay Moisturizer. I'll be using that to, you know, like blend um, everything I have. Like I'm going to be blending it on her face everywhere yeah, especially the under eyes i make sure i blend it properly and um make sure it sinks into the skin properly um it's actually very important for you to blend in moisturizer into the skin especially when the person have oily skin please do not even skip this process and think that oh yeah she has oily skin and she doesn't need hydration actually oily skin needs hydration more than dry skin <laughs> that is actually a trickish word okay guys so after doing that i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the um cetaphil moisturizer i'll be using that to i'm, go I'm going to be placing it in her under eyes because i feel like under eyes needs more hydration than every other place so i'm going to be blending that in after that i'm going to be using the milk hydro grip primer and i'll be placing it on the face okay guys so having done that i'm going to like blend everything in like just blend make sure that i blend this product very very well because it's very very important that they are all blended very well so i'm going to be equally be using the milk hydro grip primer to this is the Meron Skin Prep, not Milk Hydro Grip Primer, Jesus. I'm going to be using the Meron Skin Prep and uh, I'm going to just put that on her T-zone to control or help me with the sweat. Okay, guys, so after that, I'm going to be using the Baker Primer. I'm going to be priming her um, every... I'm going to be priming everywhere on her face because the reason why I'm going to be putting this product everywhere is because... Um, she has an oily skin and the oil that is that comes out from her face is actually very strong so I equally need to prime her face very very well so after that I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury spray to lock in the hydration okay guys so moving on I actually I already did this um, um, color color correcting um, off camera not really off camera actually um i recorded a video of that and it's already on my channel so i urge you to go watch the video and see how i did the color correcting so after doing that i covered all the dark spot everything and then i move over to her foundation so i'm just placing the foundation on her face so i mix foundations to get a creamy um based um finish because at the end of the day she have oily skin you don't equally want to start building so many products on her face when somebody have oily skin make sure that you don't build a lot of products on the face so that's one of the reasons why i have to color correct so that it will not make me to start building a lot to try and cover the dark spot so once i've cor uh, once I've, cor I've corrected the colors on her face i'll just you know like going with little or no products you quite probably notice that the concealer that I used is too small. Like I didn't use a lot of concealers, unlike what I would have done. Honestly, the concealer just like just 
two lines and stuff and i have to just move ahead so i didn't want to like go in with so many products on her face because i know that when you have um what is it called oily skin um i'm going to urge you like don't use a lot of products it's going to really help you glad you okay guys so moving on equally her contour i made sure that it just like i'm telling you like the product i use on this contour i just like when i put it there i have to use the same product and blend it everywhere like blend it all through it's not like what i would have done i would have like added more than this you know um and that is it so i didn't want like a lot of product on her because when somebody have oily skin or you would literally come and like i don't know but i just feel like you shouldn't just use so many products on the skin uh, um the pores of her face should actually see a way to breathe um you shouldn't really use the like product and just cover everything up okay guys so after that i just went into her blush i just added that and equally the blush i didn't want it to be too much like will uh, basically and honestly notice that everything i'm doing is just like the barest minimum Okay guys, so after putting on everything, I just go ahead and blended the concealer that is left under her eyes. Um, just, uh, I blended that up uh, and that is it. So, I blend, to, I make sure that everything is very good and then I go ahead and set. So, uh, my clients, uh, uh, she has this, I don't know, kind of a hole under her eyes. I don't know what that is. So, you can see the way I was trying to push in products inside that place so that I make sure it's set. This is not a creasing line. Just, I don't know. It's just like a hole for that place. So, I don't know. So, I'm just, I use powder to make sure I set it. It's in her, the two sides of her eyes. I think it's just the way her face is. Not actually an issue. It's just how her face is. And, um... And that is it so i just have to make sure i set i set the uh cupid bow her jaw i'm going to just use my setting powder to set every place and everywhere so that is it basically just make sure like i set to lock up the concealers and all the cream products i used on her face okay guys so that is it i'm just like doing that and after that i use my brush and you know like set the rest of her face you know i'm going to be setting the rest of the face with my powder uh, my powder palette just you know like blending and you know like setting and everything and everything and everything is okay guys so at the end of the day i quality set the rest of the face the contours and the blush nose contour like everything i just go ahead and set everything with powder that i'm supposed to use for it yes guys um after that actually you know how i used to do that i do um use my what is it called tamer to tame down brows but i didn't do that here i just used my pencil to outline these brows i actually said that i was going to do like i'm going to one day use pencil to outline brows but I was, that is not me trying to do that that i promised you guys here i don't know for some reason i was just like i don't really want to you know i just want to do let me just do it and see how it comes out so i just outline and fill it out mm, i would still prefer the brows that i do a tame down and do all those process before i begin to draw and equally i do prefer the brows that i use my um liner gel liner to outline i prefer I, I don't know i prefer it to this i don't know probably i'm wrong probably there is actually no difference but i don't know for some reason i just i prefer the brows i used to do to this that i did um not how is how it is drawn i think just the product i just prefer using the other one to do it because um i don't know i just feel like that one comes out better than just using pencil to you know run it not even that i think is it is it is I, there's no two ways about it <laughs> i was like me, me looking at these brows right now looking at you know like have imagining how my brows used to be it's not even comparable so after that i conceal the brows and uh yeah i'm just you know like concealing the brows and you know just doing it because that is it so just running through that um conceal 
to make sure the lines are even and good so the places that i feel like they are too long or they are too bold i'm just like cutting them out in the upper part of the brows and just doing the job that i'm supposed to do and basically okay guys so um that is it so after doing that i'm going to like set the brows her brow bone basically and everything i'm going to be setting with my powder to set the brows at a place and i'm equally doing the same to the beginning of the brows okay guys so after that i did her eyeshadow off camera and then i begin to you know like dust out all the setting powders on her face everything from everywhere guys can you even like remember the the beginning of this makeup look how we started and how it's coming together because I must tell you like i use little or no products and it covered everything okay guys so i'm going to say something uh, so i use the she glaze and uh, you know like equally sprayed on her face with the charlotte tilbury spray to set her makeup and i'm going to say something that the me before would have actually go ahead and add glow to her face uh, be, remember when somebody has um like acne on her face please avoid glow um i could have actually done with glow i could have actually added glow on her at least her nose i think that is me being too cautious or something yeah because i could have just added glow on her nose and but when somebody have acne on her faces you don't want that to show avoid using glow on that face okay guys so i and uh, add um lips so i'm using a lip stain from bicham ageless cosmetics so I, I i outlined and i use this orange shade and after that i'm adding something pinkish a little bit pinkish so i asked her to smack and then you know like she have to smack and then i use my fan to dry it up a little bit and then i blend so after smacking i'm just going to like blend it together because of course i want everything to be together Alright guys, so I'm just going to be using my brush to blend everything in. Yeah, so blending everything in. This lips, lips uh, I just, you know, I love how these lips came out. And that is it guys, I was done with the lips as well. I just added gloss. I think the lips actually, to an extent, complemented this makeup look. It made it uh, look um, outstanding and it made it like stand out and um yeah guys after that i'm going to be using the soap pro setting spray remember to use like a setting spray that is so strong to set and lock in your makeup because um it's going to help you retain the makeup for a longer time and make sure the oil does not really ruin your makeup during the day okay guys so this is it i finished everything and this is the end of the makeup i hope you love this look please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'm going to see you next time